Tiger Woods with his steely-eyed focus and desire to win, now facing the most difficult physical challenge of his life, telling Golf Digest in his first interview since February's devastating accident that this rehab was more painful than anything he has ever experienced. From what we know, he almost died. You just look at that vehicle. Woods drove off the road on the morning of February 23rd, the front end of his SUV completely destroyed. Woods, suffering major injuries to his right leg, was trapped inside and had to be extracted by firefighters. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department says he was speeding and lost control. There was no sign that he was impaired, police say, and there were no charges. Woods immediately went into surgery. He wouldn't make it home to Florida until a month later, according to Golf Digest. When asked if he would make a return to golf, Woods didn't comment, instead saying, I am focused on my number one goal right now, walking on my own, taking it one step at a time. Dan Rappaport interviewed the golf legend. You know Tiger Woods, you've covered him for a while. What do you think he's going to do? I think it's too early from, from their perspective to try to speculate. He, he said his goal right now is to, to walk, right? So that's that's a long way away from playing golf, which is a long way away from playing competitive golf. Those are two different things. Woods has battled back from injuries before, including five back surgeries. He was still in rehab before the accident. Since the crash, Woods has kept a low profile, a few social media posts, a photo with a young girl battling cancer, and he called Phil Mickelson's historic win at age 50 inspirational. And while the road back would be tough, those who know Tiger say don't count him out. If anybody can kind of work hard enough to get themselves to overcome something like this, you know, he'd be the one. You know, he's as determined an athlete as I've ever covered in all the years I've covered sports. That's a lot, seen a lot come from Jimmy Roberts there. Steph, yeah. I mean, what's what's the latest in terms of his recovery going forward? What do we know? So, look, this is a really complicated injury. He broke both his tibia and his fibula. And when I spoke to Dan Rappaport, he said there are a lot of unknowns right now about this recovery process. Among them, whether or not he's going to need another surgery, oh, guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right. He's to walk it's a long at this road. point. Yeah. Steph Goss, keep us posted. I will. Enjoy the Thanks. holiday weekend, too. Thank you. Me. You, too. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.